You're standing in Control V Virtual Reality Arcade, okay? You're standing in the flagship location, the first location. We are the first virtual reality arcade in North America, and we are the largest virtual reality arcade system in the world right now. This episode is brought to you by MyCXO, the company that gives you access to seasoned business professionals exactly when you need them. So Control V started as a concept by one of my business partners named Ryan Brooks. Uh, he's a big tech guy, he was building stuff. Him and I had owned another company in uh, cinema technology. And through the process of building that company, we kind of learned that virtual reality was becoming more consumer accessible. And he kind of turned to me and said, listen, Rob, there's, there's so much opportunity here. I know the tech, I know how we can work this out. Do you think you can mold it with some business to it? And we'll bring on somebody else named James Ellickson and he, he'll, he'll bring in the operations and we'll create an arcade system out of this. I said, absolutely, let's make it, let's make it happen, let's make it work. And so that's how we uh, came up with this idea and we brought all three of us together in order to build this thing. And so right now, we've been growing uh, across Canada, the US and Costa Rica as a franchise system. All right, so Control V has a massive library of games. They are all ethically sourced. <laughs> uh, by that I mean that we have agreements with all of our game developers. We pay them royalties. Uh, there's no piracy going on. We're, we're supporting um, the, the people who build the industry. So in terms of games, we've got anything from first-person shooter games, zombie shooter games. We've got some puzzle games, some team building games, educational stuff. We got a lot of experiences. You could go swimming with whales, hanging, back, hanging out with silverback gorillas, there's a ton. So as virtual reality gets adopted by the masses, which is our mission, uh, we believe that virtual reality will start to expand outside of just the gaming industry. So we believe that it'll be used for a lot of training, it'll be used in education, it'll be used in medicine, um, it, hopefully it'll become as necessary as a morning coffee. So as a customer, when you come to Control V, uh, the, the experience for you is seamless. So you're able to book and reserve your station online ahead of time so that when you know that when you come here, there's a spot available for you. All of our facilities are professionally laid out with the highest level of equipment and, and content. Um, our customer service representatives are trained to the max. Not only can they operate the arcade and help you with any technical issues, but they also know all the games. So you're never going to spend 10 minutes of the time you purchased trying to figure out how to reload your weapon in one of these games. Um, it's all self-serve with the help of attendance, so nobody's ever interrupting your experience or interrupting your emotions. Immersion. Um, I love it. I think it's one of the coolest concepts out there. So franchising in general has a series of benefits itself, right? So you can connect with other franchisees, get data and support from them. You've got a head office that provides you training and content. Uh, and it doesn't matter really which industry you're talking about when it comes to franchising. But franchising with Control V specifically in the virtual reality industry has its own benefits. Our game developer rates are sometimes three times lower than our competitors. We've developed our own operating system to help you reduce your labor costs by up to 75%. We have some of the most robust systems, processes, uh, training, support that's available on the market. It's just a win win situation. How could you go wrong? What I love about Kitchener-Waterloo is that it's a small town with a big city feel. So all the amenities you can imagine with a big city, like light rail transit, places to go eat, um, you know, Control V, tons of stuff, anything you'd find in a big city, we have here. But we don't have a lot of the issues, the traffic issues, uh, driving around, trying to figure out how to get to an airport, you know, that the highways are clean and clear. Uh, so you, you, you know a lot of people, the education here is fantastic the zoning's laid out. It's like, like I said, massive city in a small little nugget.